Hello again. If you remember, I told you that the Milwaukee here had broke down. The clutch had went on it. Unfortunately, we need the clutch to work because we do put screws in with this sometimes. Not all the time, because usually the Surge Hydraulic Drive does that one. So anyway, I did say I'd ordered a drill and it was on order and it wasn't here yet. Obviously, if you've ordered it and it isn't here, so fine. So it's arrived. So what was it? Well, take the battery off this one here. Right. It was this one here. Yes, another Milwaukee, but not the normal Milwaukee. Not the same type as that, and I'll explain why. This is the M18 FPD. Yes. Now, start off with... When it came yesterday, I had a quick shot with it, I must admit. It's not as heavy as what I thought. I did think this drill was going to be a bit heavier, and it was going to be a lot bigger as well. But it wasn't, and I was quite surprised. Mind you, now it becomes a heavy drill, but still not as heavy as what I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. Now, just bear with us for a minute. I forgot to do something. Right then. Should be a bit brighter now. I forgot to switch on one of the lights. Okay then. I think actually I might just take this off the battery at the moment. To be honest with you. Because it's... It's funny. But it's not that much bigger than this drill. To be honest with you. But yeah, it seems a lot bigger. Let's have a quick look at them together. Move box. Uh. Uh. <laughs> mm. Wind this in a bit. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, you're not going to believe this, but that is actually smaller than this one. Unbelievable. And yet it seems bigger when he's standing up. Wow. Anyway. Okay then, so why did I buy this one and not another one of these? I did look at the brushless version of this to start with. Quick story. So I went on a, um, the Amazonian channel. I think where I went there. Right. So I went to the Amazonian channel, and what I found was, this drill valued at £140 bear, or £160 bear on Prime. And that's a bit pricey. And it looks more or less identically the same to this, except it's brushless. This isn't, of course, this is brushed. So I'm thinking, this isn't a very good deal at all. Think can I get bear? So I had a bit more hunt about, and then I found this one bear. You know me in a second. But I'm thinking this is a bit big and powerful to what we need. I'm thinking no, this is this is daft, and not only that, if this has got the same clutch on it as what this one has, if I bought the brushless version, and it had the same clutch, it could fail again. Because we had a bit of a debate about this, and I think the best answer we came up with why the clutch failed on it was this. As most people never ever use the clutch on the drills anyway, it looks to us that Milwaukee just put a crap clutch on it, and they knew it would break if somebody used it. So we came along and used it, and it broke. Anyway, it looked like to us to have the same clutch on it, except it was a brushless motor in the back end of it. So we went, no, come on, that's just silly. Because what by now, what we'd found, and actually ordered, believe it or not, we'd ordered this. And how much did this cost us? Well, actually, it cost me, actually. £114. And it's combi. So that means it's got the hammer action in it for masonry. Yes, £114. Couldn't believe it. So anyway, ordered it. Now it's arrived. So what do we think of it? Okay then, not as heavy as what I thought, it's certainly not as big as what I thought, it doesn't fit in the box, but tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we make it fit in the box tomorrow, I'm going to make a special video on that one. Anyway, the chuck, nice chuck on it I must admit. This plastic ring here is actually plastic, but I like it because it looks cool and it looks like it's metal. I was wondering whether it be plastic or metal, and uh, it was plastic, so I'm not disappointed. But one of the features I did notice when I first got my hands on the drill, I did this, I twisted this. 
Oh, it's got rubber on it. Yes, but the rubber isn't all the way round. It's only on the sides. It's okay. That's no big deal. I'm not bothered about that. In fact, I still think that's a good idea having the rubber on it anyway. So when you lie it down on the side like, like this, it doesn't mark anything. So anyway, move along. And of course, you, this ring here does your hammer action, screw driving and drill mode. And nice little clicks on there. Oh, and the clutch quite light. I was surprised at that because this, you know, this one up here had a real heavy clutch on it. Real clunk, 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 which I liked. But this is light, so fine. And of course up here you have your second and first gear switching. Oh my god. Which is very stiff by the way. But luckily we just leave them in second anyway so it doesn't matter. And of course when you come back you've got quite a bit of rubber here at the back. And it actually does shift quite a lot of air the fan. Not too happy with the noise though. Weave it funny on the noise yet. I ain't got used to it, so fine. And of course the rubber here stems all the way down round and comes down right at the handle round here. More about the handle in a second. And of course you have your customary forward and reverse. It's in forward, reverse. I will say I do find the forward button a little bit awkward to get to. Especially with the weight of the drill. See, it doesn't quite always get from me. And it is a heavy drill. Although, as I say, not as heavy as I thought. And of course the trigger. I'm just going to take the battery out just now. It saves the noise going off. See, done it again. There we go. The trigger, nice, light, usual Milwaukee style of trigger anyway. Like it's staged, so it means it doesn't go up in a curve like this. It goes like this as it climbs up because it's got. I call them staged triggers. I think they call them. I'm not quite sure what they called it. Called anyway, but that's them. Right. So now we come back to the handle. And what I noticed was, last night my arms, my hands, my hands were actually quite warm. And they were actually sticking to it. I thought, wow, that's pretty neat that actually. So it's grippy rubber. Now, it doesn't seem as grippy on the surge. Don't know. But I do know, even DeWalt does it. Some of the rubbers are different on their equipment. Some have this very soft grippy rubber. It's a good idea, I like it, but it does wear if you're wearing gloves and you get dirt and everything trapped into them. I used to work in engineering, so I do know this as fact that this is what happens when you're wearing gloves. It seems, don't know why, but the gloves wear the rubber out quicker than your hand does, of course, for rougher. Anyway, what else we got? We forgot about the little light underneath here. I haven't timed it, but I would imagine it'll be 10 seconds. Usually Milwaukee stuff is all 10 seconds on it. And of course, you've got the customary Milwaukee up here, and you've got the, the fuel brushless at the back end, and the fuel thing there as well to tell you it's fuel. But it really hasn't got a fuel till it's got a battery in it. That really, really should have the fuel in it. Yeah, Milwaukee for you, I suppose. And of course, as you come down to the bottom, at the moment it's got its belt clip on, it will be getting taken off, because we don't need it, we don't use it, and we will be taking the holder off as well we don't need that as well and i did notice when i was using it last night this little screw thing here was sliding forward on it and of course when you clip it in you've got milwaukee's legendary battery that i really like with little disco lights there at the front and you've got the rubber at the bottom so if you do stand it up on a soft surface it won't mark it because sometimes we have to uh, do little jobs for my dad and sometimes we're in somebody else's my dad's property but in somebody's house in there and of course we don't want to mark things if we lay it down on a table or something this is another reason why we take it off but in the fact the boys cause damage to things when they're walking about way when they've got them in their belts but really at this way i don't think they want to walk about way in their belt <laughs> to be honest it is heavy not as heavy as i thought though right then i think that's the quick lowdown on the specs the only thing i'm not a bit and look wise it looks to me like what happened was somebody just came along and knocked a chunk off the drill there it just looks blunt but yet for the other side it doesn't look too bad but i wish milwaukee would start putting better stickers on there it just looks cheap and tacky does that sticker but hey what the hell right we bought this as well because it's about time we moved on we got rid of the smaller lighter weight drills they're good but now and again, we do need a drill that's got a bit of oomph, especially when we're doing our 51mm, which we do use quite a lot. 
and it means now we can get bigger ones and actually do it, do the job a bit quicker by actually buying a bigger hole saw and using that. So I thought it'd be a good idea. Uh, so really and truly, it's yeah, I'm quite impressed with. It. So what is the screw drive like? Fine, let's have a quick shot with the old screw driving thing. First of all, now you might be be wanting us to go and try masonry things like this. No, later. Well, at the moment here has gotten wet and everything. I'll do a quick better rundown on it. Say we masonry and things like this to see how it actually performs. Because really, that's its its main job. Apart from big holes, is masonry, and every now and again put some screws in. You see. So what have we got here? We actually have the wrong screws. Yeah, we have. We've got five by forties in there. What's that doing in there? Five by forties. Right, that's in the wrong box. Right, I've got the wrong box of screws. I'll go away and I'll get the right box of screws. I have to bear with us for a minute because I'll have to go and find them. Sorry about this. Right, found the right screws now. Now. We're in screw driving mode, we're on speed 2, we like to be, we're on torque setting 1, we're going to shove this little screw here, which is a 4x50, and a, this wood here first, and we'll see how it gets on. Because the problem was, with this one, the torque settings wouldn't go low enough to actually stop it from going careering into the wood. So let's see what this one does. Which way end we going? We're going this end here, okay. We'll go middle-ish here. I did stop that before it hit. I'll just do another one. I thought it was going to go careering right into it, believe you me. I'm just to do another one. Hey, no problem at all. So the torque setting on reasonably hard wood works. Does it work on soft wood? Which is this bit here at the back. This is pretty soft stuff. Uh, I stopped that before it went in. Now we'll just try that again. I'm not used to it yet, that's the problem. Nah, it'll bury it. Stuff's a bit too soft, so I am right. Give it a little stop and then just quick blast and it'll put it in. Try that again. There it is. Straight in, no problem. Actually, very nice. Didn't quick bury that one down. Put one more in. Just to have a quick look at it. Better is that, yeah? Right, fine. Okay, it does then. But how does it cope with the 4x50s? Which are these ones here. Screws are the research screws that I begin with a bit of a problem. Uh, another story. I've done a video on them. Go and watch it. Right. Mm. Okay, talk someone wants to come up. I would imagine. I'll do it there, right? Didn't bury that one, but I'm not bothered. It's still acceptable. Yep, yeah, that one in, no problem at all. That plick was already there, by the way, so it wasn't that. Okay, we'll try this slightly harder wood then. That's not bad, actually. Actually, that's not bad. It's a little split there, but I can accept that. Just come up a bit, right? Try it again. Uh, yeah, I didn't bury it. Usual story with them screws. Right then, it works pretty well, and at least on certain woods, you can still use a smaller torque setting on it to actually put the thinner screws in, depending on the wood. I admit this is soft wood. So, okay then, I'm quite impressed with it. And, of course, I got the handle with it as well. Yeah, it's still in this plastic bag. I haven't put it on because. If, all right, then I suppose I better show it with the handle on right enough. Let's see, I want that hand, so it has to go, yeah, that way. All right, we'll slacken this off. It wants to be slacken off a bit more. There it is. Quick tighten up. And there it is, that's it with its handle on. Must admit, not bad. Will I be using it with the handle on it? Probably not. 
Uh, we'll take the hand glove, put it in this bag, and we'll forget about it for the time being. And what does my son think of it? Bit heavy. Yeah. Bit red too. Well, no lucky stuff usually is. So anyway. As I said, this only cost me 114. And as I said, Sun's not too happy with it, especially for putting in screws if we have to use the drill to do it. So I did kind of think when I bought this at the time what was going to happen. So I took precautions. And look what else I bought. Yes, it's little and it's 10 volts. Look at it, cute little thing, isn't it? That actually came today. I haven't really played with this. I've just charged the battery up, that's all. And actually, quick charging on it too. The other battery's charged now. So basically speaking, from the beginning of this video, but 10 minutes till I got everything ready, and it's charged now. So however long we were into this video, that's how long it took to charge that battery. My, it wasn't completely flat. Anyway, never mind the yakking on. Let's have a quick chit chat about this thing then. Yeah, you just thought it was going to be about this. I'm not going to say too much about this yet because I don't know that much about it. All I can say is quite hefty duty. Right then. And I have noticed when it came, this black bit was in there and I pulled it and now it sticks out. It's okay. I did get a bit to push it in and it clicks in place. Look. See? So really and truly, I'm quite impressed with that to start with. This is plastic, the same as on there, you see. You've got two speeds on it, just run through it quickly. You have the same rubber bits on here, which you select between drill and screwdriver mode, which I think is pretty good actually, because you're not interfering with your torque settings once you've got them set up. So that's a good idea is this. And of course, you've got your two speeds here. Oh, well done, I forgot to mention the power that this drill has. Sorry, back to the drill. Whoa, bad boy, me, bad, bad. In second speed, it turns at 2,000 RPM. It has 60 Newton meters of torque. And then it's that speed, first speed, it has 135 Newton meters of torque, spinning at 550 RPM. I'll just check that in case I shoot myself on the foot. And then next thing you know, it was writing down below, you daft idiot, no, it's not. It's not. Yeah, that looks like 550 RPM to me. Even without my glasses on and the light shining down on top of it. So if it's wrong, I shall correct it in a future video. So there. Right, get rid of that. Uh, now, does it sit better that way? Yeah, it does kind of. Right. Advertisement for Milwaukee. Well, in that case, you should have it that way around there. Advertisement for Milwaukee. No, put that way. Right then, back to this. Right then, you've got your two speeds here. Uh, first gear, come on, what, what does it spin at? Have a guess. 450 RPM and. Oh, I can't. Oh, no. So, what was it? Uh, start back and find a bloody thing. 450 RPM in first gear, second gear 1700. Right, now I don't know what its newton meters of torque are in second speed, but I know why it is in first. It's between. 38 or 39 newton meters of torque that's getting pretty powerful that's actually got more power than some of the very first 18 volt drills that came out on at the marketplace i mean 10 volts two amp battery and i got two of them in the box plus a charger and it came in a nice box i thought it was coming in a bag it didn't it came in a box in the box living in the box See? box box right so what else? Well, we've got some rubber here at the sides, and of course this has got rubber on it as well. I might have said that, might not have. Which again, good for laying it down. The bell hook on this one will be staying on it, because it doesn't cause too much trouble. We've had a drill before, and an impact with it on the side. Actual fact, they never, they never caused any problems. And not only that, being small, I don't mind if they stick it on their belts, to be honest with you, because it is small. Chunky handle, nice. And of course the trigger, oh yeah, and when you pull the trigger, you get a battery read out on it, which does switch off after a time, even if you keep your finger on it. Is it off yet? No. Ah, it's off now. Light again, I'll stay on for 10 seconds, Milwaukee. If I'm wrong on this, I will correct it. I'm just running through this quick. 
it shifts quite a bit here. Not as much as I thought, but it does shift here, so fine, I'm not bothered. Oh yeah, selector. It's not that shift like. Ooh, that's very slack. Not quite rigid. That is very slack. Yeah. However, we'll wait and see on that one. We're on second, yeah. And of course down here you have your forward and reverse and of course middle's lock middle's lock on that one as well you guys see all this because some people don't know you know they don't know about these tools i said i'm only running through this quick and it has got a bit of a sticky handle the fat handle a bit like the fat marks range they've got fat handles on them okay then that's about it i'm not going on too much about it because i'm just doing this one quick because it only came today so let's shove some screws in uh okay then we'll four by fifty Right, let's do frost one of them into this wood here, see the easy wood first, see what we get. <laughs> obviously top sense we want to go up. I'll hazard a guess because it's a bit loose. I'll take it to six straight away and see what we get. Mmm, not bad. Right, we'll try another one just to see how we get on with that one. Right. No, that's a bit too tough for that. Put back with only four. Oh, no, no, no. These are the four by fifties, remember. Yeah, it wants to go up a bit now. Yeah, I'll do. Go on. But then maybe. And as I said, this is the beauty of having a separate selector between your drill mode and your screwdriver mode you gotta say drill mode it hasn't got a chuck on it because it's a screwdriver yeah but i have drill bits that you connect into it the quick the quick release ones i think they call them so we use them and by the way also something else i didn't notice before not a lot of movement on the chuck either which is good for drilling as well because it will be getting used as a drill and probably a countersink as well however okay shoving them in Getting the torque settings around it could be a bit of a pain. Now I'm going to try this wood here with a 5 by 50 but I'm going to turn it up, definitely. Okay, that's 9. Let's see what happens. Let's see what she does. Okay then, here we go. Oh, must have split in the wood. Actually, nice. That was nice. Them screws are kind of hard to get them to go down underneath the surface actually, but I must admit, that's doing pretty well. I'll do one more, see how we get on with it. Go a bit close to the end, no I won't, I'll split it. Yeah, it's not ticking that one. There we are. it's not, that is one of the problems with these screws, it doesn't always set them all the way down, but, yeah, well, turn the top settings up and down, probably get it. So really and truly, what do I think of this one? Well, so far the boys really haven't seen it yet. I said, not too impressed with this, bit big and bulky, they thought like, when I told them the power of it, it was a bit like, eh? Oh, anyway, they're not impressed with that one, so what? But, I think this will be all right. They'll like this, because it's small, it's lightweight, it's one of these, and it is to make up, because I did think this is going to be a bit heavy for drilling. It has turned out it's not as bad. How much? 170 with two batteries, the charger and the case, and there are both two amp batteries, and they do charge pretty quick, so I'm impressed with that. And actual fact, I think for what I've got for my money, I think I've got quite a nice little tool to be honest with you. And after using that and the weight of it, really and truly, and most of the time we're only putting four mil screw diameters in, which if you want that and engage down terms that is eight gauge screws so really yeah we do put these in as well and of course don't forget we do have the surge as well so all in all that suits milwaukee setup and this was because it's the year of the milwaukee just because that one up there broke down i'll give it the clutch but still works in masonry it'll still drill holes all the rest of it but i want something that works so if the, these Milwaukee start breaking down, well that's it. They won't be getting replaced with Milwaukee stuff. They'll get replaced with DeWalt. Yes, I'll buy DeWalt things. Yeah, that'll upset the Milwaukee fans. Anyway, 
Thanks for watching. <laughs> hope you've watched, uh, watched it. I hope you've enjoyed it and everything. Because to be honest with you, I never actually thought, what am I going to say? I just went, right, this is what I've bought. This is what I've done. I can't give an opinion of this yet. I can't really give an opinion of this yet. But I'm going to try getting this to fit into the Milwaukee box that came with this here. Because this one fitted in, no problem at all. So tomorrow I'll make a video of showing you how to make it actually fit in. Okay then, bye now, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and see you tomorrow when I'm doing the box. Okay, bye now.